What's the problem? We have a patient here, a diplomat brought in by ECOWAS. His temperature is very high. This is a viral infection, a serious infection. I think we have a problem developing here. Nigeria was a mere spectator to the deadly Ladies Ebola crisis, sweeping West Africa, but now there are fears that, that country could be on the verge of becoming the next hot zone for the virus, with health officials there warning every nation and every individual is at risk. Lagos is a city of over 21 million people. We simply cannot afford an Ebola outbreak in Lagos. There aren't many things more in the public good than preventing a possible Ebola outbreak. I want to know exactly why you are holding one of my nationals in your hospital. I think I'm right. I know I am. Everything in Nigeria's politics, you know that. Ah! Stop! So stop! Don't tell me to come down. Ah! Why? Oh my God. This is the best we can do. We cannot take anything for granted. It started. A lot of our people had primary contact. You all need to take your temperature twice a day. Anything above 38 degrees Celsius, you need to tell us right away. Dr. Badamosi, the question is not if we'll get patients, it's when we'll get them. But the real question is, will we be ready to receive them when they get here? It is now time for us to do the job that we are here to do. We can do this. I know what Ebola can do, trust me. Nothing terrifies me more. The only way to deal with this bastard is to deal with it. Everybody's scared here. People are scared. Is this what you want? Is this what you are willing to allow to happen in this city? Most of us live our lives without ever really understanding how connected we are. Stay back, stay back. Sir. But then one day, something happens. Something that changes the way you look at the world. Changes your life. Forever. <laughs>